To make my slides jump from one to another within a slideshow uh, for my Choose Your Own Adventure story, first I'm going to go to my storyboard and copy and paste my text. And I'm just going to put that directly onto each slide. And then I might do some formatting, like taking the text boxes off and then making the text itself bigger, okay? Um, just because that will make it look better. Um, I would also take off the slide two, because we're on slide two, so you don't need to have that there anymore. Um, so let's get to the links. Again, for myself, I use a text box and then I change the color of the text box up here in the corner. You have lots to choose from. I can then, again, for myself, just to make it look good, I make it centered and the center of the box. I'm going to do that again. And middle okay now to make it actually jump I've done a little prep work ahead of time and over here on my slides I've put the choice at the top in the title spot now I'll show you why in a second so here's the chose pie and here's the chose ice cream so if we're choosing pie down below we pop up the little toolbar just like it did with our pictures. I'm going to choose insert link. And instead of putting in a web address right here, we're going to come down here to the triangle that says slides. And we're going to click there. And it's going to give us a list of all the slides in our slideshow. Now slide one is where we started. And if they chose pi, that goes here. And then make sure that you click the little check mark again. Okay, and you can check here. And notice it gives you options for editing or removing the link. We're gonna do that again for choosing ice cream. And choose slides. And slide three is the one for ice cream. Okay. And now when I'm in present mode, it's going to jump to those slides. So we'll just present here. If we choose pie, it jumps to the pie. If we choose ice cream, it jumps to ice cream. Now, I'm not to an ending yet, so I don't have the little start over or retry um, down here in the corner, but when I get to an ending, then I will. Okay, and then to do that, I would add a text box and I would move it down here. Now, if it was an ending, it'd probably be in the middle. But let's say I want to give these people an option because they're like, oh, I chose ice cream. Ugh, I really should have chosen something else. So then I can have them, once again, choose the whole box. My toolbar comes up, insert link, slides, and then go back to the first slide or slide one. Click my check mark. And that is it.